Student loan recipients will be getting another break. The Biden administration extended the pause on federal loan repayments through the end of August. So what do you think? Should the moratorium on paying these loans be extended again? Go to WFAA.com slash vote now or the vote now tab in our app. And while you weigh in, let's get to Morgan Young. It, I, feels like we've been here before. Yeah, Chris and Izzy, this is actually the sixth time that this deadline has been pushed back since that initial freeze in March of 2020. But many Democrats say that this extension is not enough. They're calling on the president to cancel the loan debt altogether. But is that even feasible? What would it look like? And how should borrowers move in the meantime? In 2022, nothing is safe from a social media joke, especially not the student loan conversation. It's significant and get off TikTok. Kathy DeWitt Dunn is a financial advisor in North Texas. This was not free money. This money is money that has to be repaid. She says if you can, this is a great time to pay it while interest is not incurring. If you can't, this is a good time to prepare. Now is really the time for you to refocus on your financial future and get a plan in place to address this. Of course, many hope to see the federal student loan debt canceled. As of now, there's not a lot of evidence that, that he and the administration want to go all the way down to full uh, forgiveness. SMU economics professor Colm Clark also says there are questions about whether President Biden has the authority to do that. There's also the issue of $1.6 trillion owed just poof, disappearing. That sort of uh, would be a kind of, um, uh, you know, fantasy economics that doesn't exist in the, in the real world. He says it would lead to an even larger budget deficit. I don't really think there's a future where you can make the, uh, uh, all of the people who owe the $1.6 trillion better off by $1.6 trillion and not have anyone else worse off. And if the loans aren't canceled, the extensions stop, and borrowers who are used to this break just don't pay, experts say they'll be worse off by way of bad credit. Everything is going to become much more expensive for you later down the road, whether it's a house, a car, credit cards. And that is not a joke. So economists I spoke with today were not surprised that the loan repayments were pushed back. What did surprise them today is the announcement that people who had defaulted on their loans and were already really facing some financial repercussions before the pandemic were essentially given a clean slate today. So when payments start back up, those nearly 7 million Americans will be in good standing. And if, while you guys are still weighing in on those polls, Chris and Izzy are going to check back in on those results a bit later, so keep voting. All right.